Hey kids, welcome back. Uh, I'm here now here on my on the multiplayer server. Uh, it's called Gate Gulch. It's based on uh, the book Atlas Shrugged. Um, the server host is a big fan of that book, I guess. I don't know. The name of our spawn town is Reardon. So if you've ever seen seen this show or or read the book or whatever, I guess, then you'll understand. Um, at our first, where I am right now is in front of myself and my wife's uh, little spawn house. Uh, the rules here for the spawn house was it couldn't be over a certain height and it couldn't have more than a certain space. And he's got these little lots laid out here to to show us exactly how um, how big this land is supposed to be. So a little lot like this and that's your house lot. Alright. Here we are. We're going to take a quick look around here, but uh, this was my first project I built on the server was our little spawn house. Um, back then, of course, this was still version 1.6, so we only had two choices of flowers, red or yellow. Um, I made just a simple flat-topped house. Nothing fancy. Um, had a little fun. Somebody took out a tree. I planted a tree sapling back here so that it wouldn't grow. It was close enough to a structure that it would not actually grow. And somebody pulled it out. Kind of sucked, but whatever. Um, let's see. I put some shrubberies around the edge. Give the house a bit of a hedge. Give it some look. Um, let's see. Inside, of course, it's pretty bland. Pretty bland. You don't have a lot of room, so... I think some of the master builders would even have a hard time doing something with this much space. Uh, just a simple couple of carpets, some couches, a bed for his and hers, as color-coded carpets as well. Uh, we put in some a kind of a kitchen area with uh, a couple of chests. Threw an ender chest up there. I think at one point in time I had a couple other chests up there, but I don't know. A uh, little oven and a crafting table. Pretty, pretty, pretty easy, simple, basic, nothing fancy. Uh, that was our first project that we built here. Um, and then I built, while waiting for 1.7 to come out, I kept building a lot of smaller little odds and end jobs. I helped build this little um, community resource center here. Just a couple of chests. He was hoping that we were going to plant, thinking of putting big maps up on the wall and item frames, but that hasn't happened yet, so we'll see. Um, I also put a second floor on with a spare bed just in case you, you'd show up here and you needed to sleep. We were 1.6, we were having so much problems with mob spawns out here. It was just absolutely ridiculous. It was funny, but it was ridiculous. And we need a lot of safe places to hide quickly. I also built this little combination blacksmith and memo board place. Of course, some people have left inspirational messages and whatnot uh, on the on the memo board. Really, nobody's using it. It's gotten fairly quiet. Most people are taking a bit of a break right now. Um, 1.7 did come out. We have been exploring a little bit more and whatnot. I had a bit of a problem. Somebody kept putting out the fires. I had lit fires here in the blacksmith shop and somebody kept putting them out. I mean, it was supposed to be more for aesthetics than anything, but yeah, well, that was how it goes. Um, what else we got here? Oh, let's see. Mouse built this little spawn. Uh, starter place here. This is just a little space where we, we the new players spawn in, and it's got a little rule book in there and some odds and ends and whatnot. As you can see, we have a lot of vacant spots here. Um, we are kind of expecting some additional people on the server at some point in time, uh, but it's been pretty quiet. I mean, we're still getting fairly started out. Everybody gets their own little plot about 500 tiles by 500 tiles, which is pretty pretty much safe. You can do what you want to it out there, but in Spawn Town, it's like 
keep the house under a certain size, do whatever. There's a few people, of course, who have bent the rules a little bit, but that's the way it goes. These houses are actually too big, and the server host is a little bit upset about that, but... Well, what can you do at Spawn Town? I mean, I've seen some Spawn Town servers where you get these monstrous, hideous, ugly houses of, of dirt. Anyhow, I'm going to move on to the next project I worked on, and we'll take it from here, I guess. Hey kids, we're back here. This is the second uh, major build, well, first major build, I guess, I tried to do uh, when we were playing 1.6. It was a, another contract build that I did for somebody. It's basically, it's just a big fence. It's nothing fancy. It's a fence all the way around his property. And it's like I said before, we have a 500 by 500 tile space and he wanted to mark his border. He asked me to build a fence. Well, he calls it a wall. Um, but basically anything you can jump off of and jump over or jump, climb over with no problems whatsoever in my books, that's a fence. The only thing it's there for is good looks and good measures. Um, but yeah, there we go. That was the next thing I built. And we'll carry on after this. Hey kids! Uh, here we are continuing our tour around the server. Um, this was a project I did while we were waiting for 1.7 to come out. And basically it's just a harbor. It's just he wanted a harbor. I made this little boardwalk here down to the end. Um, it's up to him to build. He wants to turn his whole terrain into a super flat world. Um, uh, I guess different strokes for different folks who... Anyhow, uh, I built this boardwalk and a dock. We emptied out all of this water and then I re-sculpted the terrain, re-sculpted underneath. I put in some some bushes, uh, tree leaves and stuff for seaweed. Uh, we made in these two little boys indicating where the sandbar is, you know, because you don't want to crash into stuff with your boat. And uh, this is basically red wool, orange carpet, uh, fence post with a redstone lamp on it. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Oh, I made a flat spot up here. Let's see if I can swim up to it. A flat spot up here just so that he can put in a dock um, like a harbor master house or a lighthouse or whatever he wants. He indicated he wanted to build a boat, so I left him a fairly large spot to build a boat in. I don't know what he wants to do with it, but, you know, it's his build. I'm just helping out. Okay, we'll go on with the tour after this. All right, here we are at another project that I built while waiting for the 1.7 update. Um, I called it the Keebler Elves Cookie House. As we all know, they live in a big tree. Uh, so I made this cookie farm in a big tree. This was uh, a lot of fun. Just had planted a couple of jungle trees and made some redstone stuff up top. Here we are most of the way up the tree. Uh, I made a platform here for collections. Um, we're using it for actually a general auto harvesting garden. So it actually worked better than I had originally planned. It's not very big, it's just a small plot. Pistons on the walls. And yes, Inverted Cow does redstone. Not well, but he does it. Um, pistons on the walls to plant uh, cocoa beans on the pistons. Um, and it pops up, and the beans pop, and the water floods everything into the center and then down into that chest I was just looking into. Uh, basically it looks like a giant tree. From the outside it looks like a giant tree, but inside it's actually a functional building. Um, treasure chest for storing seeds and cookies and whatnot in. And a top layer 
Now at the 1.7, it actually snows up here. It's actually kind of funny. She comes up here and there's snow on top of the tree. I'd actually left this tree so it was a functional room on top. There's enough light through the leaves to actually grow, plus all the little stones down there or pumpkins down there. And I put a bed at the top here just for some extra support. This was this is another person's uh, place. She's building this giant house over here. That's her first big project that she's had fun with. The greenhouse, and she built some farms and a ranch, and another house over there. So yeah, um, this is the Keebler Elf house. I'm just going to scoop down to the bottom and get a, a quick look at the whole thing. And all right, see. Um, this was actually the tallest structure on her built on her project before she started building this house. Um, but yeah, these are full size jungle trees with this thing. It looks it actually looks really kind of cool. And I planted vines all around it so it would actually vine down and they grew in nicely. They didn't grow horizontally like they used to. They used to grow really horizontally as well, but uh, that's okay. But there we go. That was uh, the next project that I built. Okay, and then here was the final project I actually built for anybody. This was uh, originally an Otaga biome. This is a roadway or pathway. I made it because we had a lot of 1.6 creatures attacking us, and now we got nobody. Um, this tree still hasn't grown. There's something glitchy about this tree. I don't know what it is. Probably placement or something like that. But basically, this is just a, a simple mine shaft entrance. I put these ovens up for decoration more than anything. They had no real purpose. Um, oh, that's sweet. Uh, yeah, some storage chests, um, location for lava, torches, fuel, uh, three ovens for cooking stuff from the mines from. She's put a portal in here since then. Um, I had installed a garden in here just because nothing I hate more than digging in the mine and coming up and finding yourself mobbed and then having to go search for food. I mean, I just run in, grab, uh, smack down a watermelon and go. Um, but basically, yeah, this is just leads down to some tunnels and shafts and Pretty simple, just a mine head. There you go. That was the last project I did before 1.7 came.